Andy. Exactly. Oh my goodness. All right, let me have a moment because I've seen you in the last few openings and closings and I've listened to your sets and they always rock it. I was just having a conversation last night at dinner and you know, people were saying, oh, so who's the top DJ at Space? And I was like, for my reckoning, the way he dropped those tunes, it's Tom Novi. Could you get the party going? Thank you for the flowers. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, it's... I'm not just kissing your ass. No, no, it's okay. No, but you know how to get the party started, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like I'm, I actually grown up in this, in this club here. So I think it's my 12th year playing opening. Your 12th yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was quite a little boy. And, I, you know, things develop by you the time. You're not old enough, Tom, to, be, to have been playing here for 12 years. I am, but trust me, I am old enough. I just, I'm just a good looking guy, that's it. <laughs> no cracks. Nah, no cracks, exactly. Um, yeah, and it, the things quite change, the big stages and everything, like the, the huge lineup. I can remember when we played like a small Spanish lineup and it was like exactly for the outside, for the old outside terrace, but the vibe was always good. And I mean, you know, after all these years playing for that club and for that special crowd, I mean, just imagine I come here every Sunday and finish those terrace. I mean, of course, you know what's going on. And of course, the other DJs have to, you know, always a little, you know, step behind me because they don't know the, the special tr tracks to play. And there's always, every year, there's a couple of tracks they specially made for the terrace. And I, I got some in my bag here. Uh-huh. Is Believe that your, your secret weapon right there? What's in there today? Um, uh, there's, a, there's a nice little... You can tell me because nobody's There's a nice little edit I did from, from uh, the Beatles. Okay. It's called All You Need Is Love. All and I right. think the terrace is going to go nuts. Put your hands up. So how do you get people's asses moving on the dance floor? I mean, the secret is, to be honest, get the girls moving first yeah. because the boys have to buy the drinks and then <laughs> when the girls are shaking their asses you know everything's fine that's it i've heard that you and your crew really know how to party as well you know you do your thing on the terrace you do your thing behind the decks but then afterwards it's all about the tom novi after party where are you after uh, where are you doing your after party this summer <laughs> oh this summer um i don't know i mean last summer was i was quite little you know quiet there was just like two or three after parties they were really wild but normally I, I just spend some days on the beach because you know traveling is so hard at the summer and I'd like to chill out I'd like to hang out at the beaches because you know I, I'm I'm not I don't want to say I'm too old for partying seven days a week but I mean after all these years on the island we have so much beautiful spots and I want to see definitely a couple of those faces to hang out and see these, those people on the beaches and take a swim and have a nice dinner or a nice lunch that would be excellent that's what's the, that's what they're here for exactly right Put your hands up. So who are your DJ friends this year? Who are you going to be hanging out with on the island? Uh, it, it's, it's always different. I mean, it's like, you know, you meet people and uh, you lose people and you, you split up, you, you come together. But I mean, it's, it's, it's always like a special, nice crowd at Space Residence. Like Dita Simplomo is one of my oldest friends. I like Carl. I play with Carl actually on this festival in Mallorca. What's he like when he's not being the king of clubs? He is the king of being a host. <laughs> he's the king of friends. Now, Carl is, is just like such a nice person uh, and he's just a lovely guy and a funny guy. He's, you know, just normal. He don't, he don't have any attitude and stuff like, it's all good. I want to talk technical with you now, Tom. Yeah. Okay, so you've got just a small case of CDs there, you know, no big lug in of vinyl. I don't see that I with got, you. I got a record case with me, but oh, it's filled up with champagne. So, but don't, <laughs> talk, don't tell the owners, please. <laughs> That just gives you your credibility, but you still like to do the CDJs, right? Exactly. Um, I mean, over the last years, you know, the traveling is so much easier. The technical, the, the technical thing is just improved. You can loop, you can do your tricks. It's so much easier. I mean, I stopped playing records, I think, four years ago already. And, you know, that's all we need. And you can do special edits in the studio. Just burn it down on CD and then put it in the CD, CD 1000 and just what get it going, you know. What tricks do you like on the CDJ 1000? Um, I go for the loop, for the loop, and I go for the backflips, and I also also try to get into the scratching. But to be honest, when you're used to scratch with records, it's quite a little bit different because it's a little bit smaller, and my hands are too big for that thing. <laughs> but I'm getting into it. Believe me. Actually, house music is not a scratching thing, but um, I mean, it's, I think. Those, those equipment are the new thing. I mean, like techniques, the, the 12, 12 10s used to be for 20 years, the thing that has to be in every club. This CD player is the one that has to be everywhere in, in every club in the world. It's the industry standard. It's it. So the 
technology has gone from vinyl to CDs to laptops, and now video is included. Exactly. It's moving forward. You know, this what do you is, think about that? This is going to be the new thing, I think. I mean, it, it's going to take a while to develop and everything and to get a lot of DJs on that train. But, I mean, I tried it out. I saw a couple of DJs. Uh, if you just play festivals, for example, the live thing, and you have like a 20 meters LED and you can bring your own visual ideas with you, it's, this is like, you know, brilliant. So when are we going to see you next in Ibiza? Are you here for the whole season like you were last year or is it just, it's you know, the in whole, and out? It's the whole season every Sunday. It, they, I might take one or two Sundays off and do something else around Europe. Um, it's one gig with Eric at Subliminal and maybe some nice little after parties in some houses, but uh, we give our flyers, so, you know, well, make if sure you're on you the island. on your mailing list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>